All right, in this video, we're going to talk about how you uh, edit your payroll schedule that you have set up. Okay, so we can come in here under employees, you go to add or edit payroll schedules. All right. So right now we have a payroll schedule set up for bi-weekly. So if we're going to edit this, you can right click and edit payroll schedule. What do you want to call it? How often is it bi-weekly? Obviously, we'd be choosing bi-weekly. What is the pay period end date? So what's the next pay period end date? We're going to say it's well, 07. OK, so we're going to say the pay period end date is the 17th. And then we're going to say 07, 17, 11 again. What date should appear on the paychecks for this pay period? And we're going to say the 22nd. OK, so based on this payroll, um, when is, you know, we're changing up the payroll period date, okay, and we can say okay. All right, so now that's set up correctly. If you wanted to create a new payroll schedule, you don't have to have everybody on the same payroll schedule. Some might be paid weekly, some might be paid monthly. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. Again, we'll call it monthly. How often is it paid? Monthly. Okay. Uh, what is the pay period end date? It's going to be the end of the month. What is uh, what date should appear on the paychecks? End of the month. What day should appear? Wait, what date should appear on the paychecks for this period? Which day should appear on the paychecks for this period? So the last day of the month, the thirtieth, the thirty-first. That's weird. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and say okay. All right, so now we have two payroll schedules set up. All right, so you can have multiple payroll schedules set up. You can go in and edit them at any time.